Hey there and welcome. Today we would learn about chances in mathematics which is probability. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to discuss the occurrence of chance events in everyday life, determine the probability of certain events and apply the occurrence of chance events or probabilities in everyday life. So, are you excited? Let's begin. These are the Usmans. They live in Lagos State and are planning an outdoor party, either in April or December. They want to do it in a month with little rainfall. Which of the two months are they likely to have their event? That's right, December. This is because we know from experience that it is more likely to rain in April than in December in Lagos State. And this is what probability is about. Probability is a measure of chance. It tells us how likely an event is to happen. We can use words such as certain, likely, and impossible to describe the likelihood of events. A farmer asks, will it rain this month? The answer to the farmer's question depends on three things. The month, the place where the farmer is, and what has happened in the past in that month at that particular place. Probability is simply the total number of possible outcomes. For example, the probability of flipping a coin and it being heads is 1 over 2 because there is only one outcome and the total number of possible outcomes is 2, a head or a tail. Probabilities are usually fractions or percentages. We can only predict the chance of an event to occur, that is, how likely they are to happen. Probability can range from 0 to 1, where 0 means the event to be an impossible one and 1 indicates a certain extent. Looking at our earlier example about a farmer trying to determine rainfall for his crops, rather than guessing based on experience like we see in the table on the screen, we can use statistical data to predict rainfall. To determine the probability of rainfall in Ibadan in January, we use rainfall data from the previous years, just as you can see from the table on your screen. The table shows the data of January rainfall in 12 years. From the data, we see that it rained in 9 Januaries. If future years follow the pattern of the past, it is likely that in Ibadan, rain will fall in 9 out of the next 12 Januaries. Therefore, we can say that the probability of rain falling in Ibadan is in January is 9 out of 12, or 3 out of 4, or better put, 0.5 or 75%. The number 9 over 12 comes from experimental records. Therefore, we can say that it's an experimental probability. This probability can never be exact. However, it is the best measure we can give from the data we have. Let's try another example. It is known that out of every 100 new cars, 50 develop a mechanical fault in the first three months. What is the probability of buying a car that will develop a mechanical fault within three months? Since probability is the number of required outcomes over the number of possible outcomes, therefore the probability of buying a faulty car is 50 over 1000, and that can be simplified to 1 over 20. Probability, like we explained earlier, provides information about the likelihood that something will happen. It can be used in different areas of our everyday life, and some examples include the following. Meteorologists use weather patterns to predict the probability of rainfall. In epidemiology, probability theory is used to understand the relationship between exposures and the risk of health effect. In business, it is used to predict future levels of sales. And with that, we've come to the end of the lesson. Today, we learned that probability is a measure of chance that tells us how likely an event is to happen. We also know that using statistical data help us predict the likelihood of an event. Using the formula, the number of required outcomes over the number of possible outcomes. Finally, we saw how probability can be applied to our everyday life. 
help you practice the use of probability the next time you want to make a prediction. See you in the next lesson.